In this video, we will learn how to find out whether the two goods are competitive or complementary to each other. The question is, consider the demand functions of two goods x1 and x2 respectively. Demand function of good x1 is equal to p1 raised power uh, minus 0 0.7 times p2 raised power 0 0.2. This is the demand function of good x with respect to, you know, price of good 1 and price of good 2. And demand function for good uh, 2, that is demand function of good x2 is equal to p1 raised power uh, 0.46 times p2 raised power negative 0 0.4. Where p1 and p2 are the price elasticities of x1 and x2 respectively, we need to determine whether two goods are complementary or competitive. Okay, So, uh, two goods say uh, we have x1 and x2 are said to be competitive or what we call the substitute of each other if cross price elasticity between them is positive likewise uh, two goods uh, say x1 and x2 are said to be you know complementary to each other if cross price elasticity between them is negative okay so uh, by cross price elasticity we mean simply uh, cross price elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of demand of good x1 to the change in the price of good x2 keeping the price of good x1 constant let me explain it here okay so to find out whether the two goods are sub uh, substitutes of each other or complementary of each other we need to find out their cross price elasticity let's take the first case here so cross price elasticity is simply uh, let me write it here cross price elasticity okay we, for good x1 uh, is derived uh, simply by we take the partial derivative of good x1 with respect to the change in the price of good x2 okay to this we multiply p2 divided by uh, x1 okay if this whole uh, you know term comes out to be positive we say the goods are come uh, you know substitutes of each other okay then we need to check for good x2 also okay let's first calculate dx1 upon dp2 so del x1 upon del p2 that means we need to differentiate this demand function with respect to uh, price of good x2 okay so p2 raised power 0.2 okay by power function rule this exponent will become coefficient so we will write 0 0.2 p1 raised power minus 0 0.7 times p2 raised power so exponent is subtracted by 1 0 0.2 uh, minus 1 comes out to be minus 0 0.8 okay simple thing now let's plug it in this formula and let me write it here so let us denote it by uh, elasticity that is cross price elasticity of good x1 with respect to the price of good x2 okay e subscript 1 2 means cross price elasticity of good x1 with respect to the price of good x2 okay so let's write it here so this comes out to be so it is uh, 0 0.2 p1 raised power minus 0 0.7 times p2 raised power minus 0 0.8 uh, multiplied by p2 uh, divided by x1 and our x1 is this stuff that is p1 raised power minus 0 0.7 times p2 raised power 0 0.2 okay so here this p1 and this p1 gets cancelled okay and what will happen here let me write it here we have 0 0.2 let's transpose this here so we have p2 first this p2 is here when i transpose this p2 here it will get multiplied with this p2 so we have here p2 raised power 0 0.2 when i transpose this to denominator it is exponent sign gets changed it becomes p2 raised power plus 0 0.8 and you can see here it becomes 0 0.2 okay then we have p2 
divided by so here bases are same we can add up the exponents and exponents adds up to 1 so we get only here p2 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 gets cancelled so we get e12 comes out to be 0 0.2 which is indeed positive that means uh, you know good x1 and good x2 are you know uh, what we call the competitive goods that means they are the substitute goods likewise we can calculate the cross price elasticity and let me write it here cross price elasticity between the demand for good x2 with respect to the price of good x1 and simply it will come out to be a change in the demand for good x2 divided by change in the price of good x1 times p1 divided by x2 okay let's calculate it here so del x2 upon del p1 means taking derivative of this function partially with respect to p1 so exponent becomes coefficient so we have 0 0.6 uh, then we have uh, p1 raised power uh, 0 0.6 uh, minus 1 by power function rule it becomes minus 0 0.4 then we have p2 uh, z minus 0 0.4 okay so this uh, is this step times p1 divided by x2 again our x2 is this step uh, p1 raised power 0 0.6 uh, p2 raised power minus 0 0.4 okay when we solve this here uh, p2 and p2 will get cancelled again if i transpose p1 raised power 0.4 to denominator it will get multiplied with this p1 and it the exponents will sum up to 1 p1 and p1 will get cancelled i don't have the space here that's why i'm uh, explaining it here so uh, it will come out to be again 0 0.6 so cross price elasticity between uh, demand for good x2 with respect to the price of good x1 comes out to be 0 0.6 which is positive that means in short their good x1 and x2 are competitive okay if this came out to be negative then we would say that the two goods are complementary to each other okay since the cross price elasticity of sorry cross price elasticity between good x1 and uh, good x2 comes out to be positive so these two goods are uh, competitive i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you